batteries are devices that stores electrical energy by converting it to the energy that will be released slowly at a later time. In a rechargeable battery, this chemical process is reversible, allowing it to be reused many times. Battery technologies are continually improving with ever-increasing energy densities and decreasing charging times. It is likely that the next major wave of innovation in batteries will be based on our increased understanding of nanotechnology. With our increased use of high-performance batteries in hybrid and electric cars, as well as electronic gadgets, the physical limits of the material used in batteries could constantly be tested. Enhancement through nanotechnologies could provide a new lease of life for these materials as well as uncover new materials. All right, so first tell us about your company and the nature of your business. My name is Dennis. Mm -hmm. Company name is Aclimo. It stands for Eco Life Mobility. I started in year 2008 with the belief that uh, I can power to develop a mobility. Uh, we call it electric scooter or electric motorcycle. How does a battery operated vehicle can uh, improve the living style of people in Malaysia? I see that um, electric vehicle or electric motorcycle not only uh, providing clean environment, non-pollution, uh, reduce carbon emissions, on top of that, it's actually able to reduce the cost of using uh, electric. If you do a comparison with a combustion uh, motorbikes, the combustion you have engine, uh, you have a lot of maintenance to maintain the combustion engine, you have a gearings. Comparing to electric, you have less parts, you only have battery, motor and the scooter. Not only for environment, uh, it can able to reduce the downtime or the maintenance time of uh, comparing with combustion and electric. Just for those uh, doubters or skeptics out there, how would you convince people to switch to battery operated vehicles? You know, because a lot of people would be like, oh, what is nano? Like, how, how do you convince them, you know? I do see that when you experience an electric vehicle, especially electric motorcycle, uh, electric scooter, people will say that uh, the charging time is so slow. But um, we always joke about it. If you want to pump petrol into your combustion vehicle, you need to look for a, a petrol station. It can be a few kilometers away from you. Right now, if you electric motorcycles or electric vehicle, electricity is everywhere. Uh, right now, the design of the electric scooter is charged by using a wall plug, like AC plug. You can find any AC plugs anywhere to charge your vehicle. Uh, you can go to any of the coffee shops or we, we call it as a mama store when you go for tetare, you can get your vehicle charged. So it's pretty convenient compared to a combustion vehicle. Mm, so I guess that'll be good news for motorcycle riders in the future then. Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah. Perhaps with nanotechnology, we don't have to store batteries in low temperature to slow down the chemical reaction and get a longer charged battery anymore. See you after the break. Yeah. So first of all, mm -hmm. uh, you don't you, you see that the battery mm -hmm. is actually at the center underneath here. Oh, underneath, okay. It's for the center center gravity. Mm -hmm. So the CG must be right when you ride. You want to go at a fast speed. Uh, you need to make it very stable. Mm -hmm. And you see the motor. Basically, if you if you look at this, if you want to change the mm -hmm. tire. Over here, it doesn't block you from any combustion bike like exhaust right, bike. Right, right. You don't have the the chain. Mm -hmm. You don't have the oh, gearbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's uh, when the motor runs, mm -hmm. the tire will follow it runs. I so see. so you have less wear and tear parts. 
controller is like a computer. Yes. It tells you that, oh, you want to run high speed. Yes. So the controller will tell the motor, oh, you want to run high speed. The controller will say that, oh, you're slowing down. Can you actually recover the kinetic energy to charge the battery? So when you slow down, it can charge the battery. Oh, yeah. okay. So it's like lighter mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually charge it back. Yeah. So, so what's like the charging port? Uh, yeah, so it's using it's like the a normal laptop normal, charger. <laughs> yeah, normal laptop charger. You just on it mm. and, uh, and what do you plug it like, right okay. here? Okay, when you want to plug it, mm. you need to plug two times. You need to plug this so uh -huh. that then only you can charge. Oh, okay, I see. Right? As long as you go anywhere, you want to charge 10 minutes, you want to charge half an hour, it can top up the battery. So you don't have to worry on uh, let it discharge totally. I see. But anytime when you see there's mm. a plug, you can just mm. plug in and charge it. Now, because of uh, electric scooter, mm. electric motorbikes, mm. you have a big battery. Yeah. Right? So we can put a GPS unit. Ah, uh, so, so you we, your bike. GPS will always have power because you yes. have a big battery. Okay. So it can be connected. So, through apps. How, how do you, oh, apps, you have yes, an app for We that. have okay. apps that we can actually know uh, uh, where you go mm. live, mm. or you can actually trace back your three months back or, or even one year back, you can trace it back. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's how good. you use it. So, we will also know that. With these uh, sensors, mm. we know that how you ride it. Mm. We also know that whether your battery was spoiled in two years or five oh, years. Oh, they can track that. I can actually do and analyze oh. it. How you use it. How do you track it? Through the battery? Uh, through the battery usage oh. and also the distance. Then I will tell you that oh, your bike, you can easily ride for either six years or seven years. Before this, I was never a fan of motorbikes or whatever, but okay. after you telling me all this, I might just be interested in an yeah. electric scooter. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. If you yeah. use it for short distance, it's yeah. very nice. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. electric vehicles yeah. is the future. Yeah. Every one of you must use electric motorbike. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> Batteries are part of our everyday life. A day would not last without using battery-operated devices, home appliances, or vehicles. The use of nanotechnology to enhance performance by increasing the energy storage density has allowed for the creation of smaller batteries. The smaller size batteries would only suit applications which are less demanding, but would make them flexible, rechargeable, and lightweight. In this episode, we briefly brought to you Batteries are already a big business and the market is growing. Nanotechnology can play a significant role to achieve specific performance objectives in batteries. IMAN's research is focused on bringing down the cost of nanomaterials for the next generation batteries and making sure they fulfill the requirements of large scale commercial applications. The application of batteries in vehicles like scooters are contributing to a greener and pollution-free environment. Until we meet again next time in the next episode of Amazing Nano and discover the amazing impacts of nanotechnology in our daily lives. Goodbye. <laughs>